I have a very exciting lounge haul because it is their Black Friday sale. They are having up to 60% off. So I just wanted to show you guys some of my favorite pieces and my picks out of the lounge Black Friday sale. First of which I am wearing now. And oh my God, I don't have any lingerie in this chocolate color. And I am absolutely obsessed. This is such a classic set, but this chocolate color, I don't think I've seen any lingerie that has this chocolate color. So if you're seeing this video, the sale is now live and I'll have the link in the description box to shop, but it is up to 60% off everything. Any personal discount codes won't be active, but if you shop through my link, it does let Lounge know that I sent you and encourages them to continue working with me, which I would love because I love working with Lounge, but I am absolutely obsessed with this brown set. And it is a thong, which I'm not gonna show you because I don't wanna get demonetized. Next up is some of their loungewear tops. And I got a few different tops. I love lounge's top selection. They've come out with a bunch of new different styles and colors. But first one I got is this little charcoal cropped singlet. Got the little lounge symbol at the back. And I'm wearing it with these pajama shorts. And these are so comfy. They're like this waffle material. I'm going to be wearing these to sleep every night. I also got another top. This is like the exact same material, but it is this chocolate color. And this is like a long singlet cami top. Also holding the boobs up fantastically, but this would be so cute to wear with like a low waisted pair of jeans or something. Logo at the back. The material on these are just so nice and stretchy and thick as well. So they kind of feel like shapewear and the waist action is amazing. She's cinching, she's smoothing. And last top I got is this ribbed little bone colored singlet, but this is like more of a cottony ribbed material, but I still could wear it without a bra. And this one actually has the lounge logo at the front, but just a staple piece would go with so many things. Next thing I got, I'm so excited about, Lounge came out with boxes for men. So I got Murray a pack of these boxes, but it comes in a pack of three and there's the gray pair. I'm obviously not gonna try them on. I mean, I could. I would ask Murray to try them on for you, but I don't know if he's into that. We've got a black pair and some tidy whities but these seriously feel so like smooth. They remind me a lot of their bamboo material pieces. Like if you felt bamboo material from lounge, it is the softest, smoothest thing ever, like buttery. So I think he's gonna love these. And I'm so excited that we're gonna be matching in our lounge underwear. And here is the next set, which, oh my God, this is beautiful. It is a brief, not a thong. And it has the cutest little lace details. And this one is actually a ripped material, which is really different. Like I don't have anything ripped material from lounge. And it's also got the little lace detail on the briefs. I feel like this one kind of has a vintage bra effect, but also so cute and I love. In my opinion, every girl needs a good collection of seamless undies and Lounge has these seamless undie packs with the three colors. So we've got brown, tan and black. These ones are the thong version. And I can tell you, they are very comfortable. They feel super soft and stretchy as well. Um, where did they come from? These do not usually look like this. I wanted to get a push-up bra that actually fits me properly because I do have a push-up bra, but it's a bit too big, so it doesn't really do the push-up effect. And I love that this one has a low plunge as well, so you could wear it with really low plunging tops. And oh my God, she works. And it also has these matching undies, which is super comfortable, kind of remind me of the seamless undies but they do have a scallop detail and also a really tinsy little lounge logo there. But this is just perfect for when I want a little bit of lift. This reminds me of when I was in school and I was like 12 years old and I would wear super push-up bra because I had no boobs. And I just have one more favorite pick and it is this strapless bra. I saw Spencer Barbosa try this and like really test it out and it looked amazing, but this feels super supportive and it's also not digging into me at all. It actually has these like little sticky bits around the band, which is just sticking to my body and keeping it up. 
and this feels amazing. But that is the last thing that I got from Lounge's Black Friday sale. And as I said, it is live now and I will have all of the links for all of the items I just tried on down below. Just me pretending to wake up, even though I already woke up to grab my camera to set this shot up, because I'm fake. <sighs> Good morning, guys. I'm in Canberra. Outfit transition. It's really not that very exciting. We got stuff to do today. Ow. Oh my God, get I am just visiting the fam bam in the old stomping grounds of Canberra whilst Murray is on a tropical luxury cruise with his boyfriends. I have never made a Sunday roast before in my life, but I don't know if you guys have been seeing them all over TikTok, especially that Brittany girl, but she just makes the most delicious looking Sunday roast with like Yorkshire puddings and everything. And my family is English, so we love our Sunday roasts. So I decided that I wanted to challenge myself today and bring you guys along and we are gonna try and make the best Sunday roast ever for the first time ever. And I'm running a bit late. I woke up a little bit late. It's like, it's 11. Almost forgot my SPF. I've been using the Mecca Cosmetica SPF 50 plus super screen. Mecca is basically like a Sephora, but an Australian version. Now I need to go to the grocery store and get some groceries for this roast. My brothers just let me know that I am running late with the roast prep very and I need light, to... very light. <laughs> this is Matthew, my brother. You've never met him before, but I'm excited. And now Matthew's helping me. So I guess I'm not doing it on my own anymore. And we are back so... in the famous kitchen with the missing pantry door. There we go. 30 years of flavor. So I'm gonna make the potatoes that I saw Brittany do on TikTok. So you boil them first and then you roast them. But first we gotta peel them. That's what I do. And if you're wondering why my brother's so much older than me, my mum had me really late. <laughs> and this is my sister-in-law, Rebecca. Bobby watches. Hi, oh, Bobby. hi Bobby. I love you. Oh, do you do the roast, just the roast function? Salting the water. Daddy. Yes, my love. Well, I'm just getting some vegetables ready. Potatoes are going in. Oh. Whoa. Whoa, look out. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, careful, Elizabeth. Just stay out right now because there's boiling water. Okay, it's time for the main event, guys, the Yorkshire puddings. This is everyone's favorite part. As history goes, they're actually a poor man's meal because they were made of <laughs> purely flour, eggs, and milk and water. There you go, guys, there's your history. We've got six farm fresh eggs because we've got a lot of people coming over tonight. <laughs> 300 grams of mills of milk. Okay, mix it up. <laughs> 300 grams of flour. Have you got the salt there? I oh, don't no. <gasps> Yeah. Okay, and this is our Yorkshire pudding mix. So I'm just gonna put this in the fridge because we don't need it yet. Huh? Susie, do you know where the pastry is? I'm on the crack. You need two chocolate. And then this is what Brittany on TikTok does. She puts them back in the pot and then gives them like a good shake. So this makes it all fluffy on the outside and all of that fluffiness is gonna turn into crispy bits. That's all I do. Unreal. Do you wanna help me with the mushy peas? And pour it in. Good job. Oops, upright. Just one. Good job. <laughs> Pour it in for me first. Pour in some cream. Good job. 
this looks gross right now, but this is going to become mushy peas. It's basically just salt, pepper, butter, frozen peas and cream. And you mush it all together, blend it all together, and it tastes delicious. And it's time to put the pumpkin and the potatoes in. And they're going in at fan forced 220 degrees Celsius. <laughs> My friend Brie and Dylan's wedding today. I am so excited. You guys probably know Brie, Brie Lenahan from Instagram. It is the morning now. We have to leave here by like 11 to get to the event on time. It's like an hour away. And who agrees that if my hair looks like this, then Murray should go into the cafe for me and get my coffee. Oh, no. I just had a shower, I faked hand last night, and yesterday, Murray and I both went and got our nails done. Murray got a mani-pedi with no polish, and then I got these really pretty flower nails. I'm obsessed with them. And I also did some heatless curls last night, but I'm worried that I just got them wet in the shower. The theme for the wedding is like really colorful, so I've got a couple of dress choices, and I still don't know which one I wanna wear. But first, I need some coffee and something to eat. And Murray's not agreeing to go into the coffee shop for me. Murray? What? Please. What? But I can't go in with my hair like this. Okay, I can't go in with my hair like this. I lost the battle, so let's dry this hair. I did not sleep the best on this last night, so I'm really hoping that it was worth it. Oh, oh, stunning. Okay, I'm just gonna finger comb them out. I'm just gonna do a little spray of hairspray now. It's a bit frizzy on top. Okay, let's go to the cafe. my coffee and it is time to do some makeup <sighs> let's just ignore the messy room we do not have time to clean right now SPF because we're gonna be out in the Sun all day it's actually very gloomy right now but I think it's supposed to be sunny where the wedding is okay I've got my phone here I'm gonna attempt to film a get ready with me TikTok because I really need to post more on TikTok let's see if I can do this <laughs> I'm so bad at talking whilst I do my makeup because I'm usually like focusing so much. Um, I really need to wake up and like get freaking ready because I'm running out of time. Wake up, wake up Susie. Okay, let's do it. I swear if anything goes wrong in my makeup, I'm gonna crack it. I also need this makeup to last all day because the wedding actually starts at like 2 p.m. and I'm putting it on now and it's nine. My goal is to try and get this makeup done in less than an hour. And the theme is colorful. So I think I want to try and do something colorful on my eyes. I got the Cosmos palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it has so many pretty colors. Just gonna go in with the transition color first. I didn't realize I've still got the sticker on the mirror. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Bend that ass over with that Gucci wee. Okay, I think I want to use Orion on my lid. It's like a pink sparkly gold color. It is so hard getting in here when I have nails on. That is so pretty, stunning. Okay, I went quiet for a bit doing the eyes because I was focusing, but I actually think they kind of slay. Now for the base. It's 10 o'clock. That means I have an hour until we need to leave. Meanwhile, Murray's been sitting on the couch this entire time. Oh, I'll sleep. I put fake tan on my face last night, so we're going nice and bronzy. I have to leave in an hour. My boyfriend only just started getting ready. It's an hour before we go, you're still doing your makeup. Yeah, I'm almost... That's, that's what's going on. I'm almost done. Lots of blush for a sun-kissed look. Maybe not that much. Oh God. Saw someone on TikTok say that you should set your under eyes with pressed powder, not loose powder. So we're gonna try it. My under eyes always crease no matter what because I've got really creasy under eyes though. 
and that's just life. Unless you have Botox, which I'm starting to consider more and more. Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Loose Powder. Mwah. I'm running out of time. I need to bake the absolute bejesus out of my face. Okay, brush that bitch off before I start looking crusty. What else do I need to do? Setting spray. It's a fake freckle kind of day. And I think I'm just gonna put this Kazar color on my inner corner for that Bethany Motor highlight. If I get any mascara on my lid, I will burn the world. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner in Iconic Nude. I just did a shocking job at that. And Kosa's Lip Oil in Dip, which leaked all over all of my makeup the other day, and I was pissed. And that is the makeup. Okay, my first option is this dress. It's a little spaghetti strap, long, flowy, baby blue dress. She does need a steam though, but I'm thinking that I might go with my other option, which is this 70s floral, super flowy moment. I think I'm gonna go with this one. It is just so fun and a lot more colorful than the other one in my opinion. And then for jewelry, this necklace is from Petal and Pup. The earrings are from Zafino, bracelet from Zafino, and ring from White Fox. And perfume, Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. Cause we're going floral. And then for heels, I just got these brown ones from Novo. They kind of are like an Hermes, Hermes dupe, but they're block heels. And I tried them on and they were very comfy. And comfy is what I need. Cause I feel like there's gonna be a lot of grass we're gonna be walking on. And here is the final wedding look. I'm ready to go. I love these heels. And they're so easy to walk in. I would walk 500 miles. Now I just gotta wait for Murray to finish getting ready because he's still doing stuff. Woohoo! Let's go to a wedding! <laughs>